Hey, it's Libby Michelle, welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time here, welcome, I'm glad you're here. I would love for you to join the family, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a part two of how to make the famous Cameroonian dish called Koki, which is made of black eyed peas. If you have not watched my first video on this, make sure to check it out right now. I am going to link it below in the description box. Let me show you what we are going to need in order to achieve this beautiful, delicious, yet very easy recipe. Let's get started. So for this recipe, you are going to need the following ingredients. It's not much, but yeah. Let's start with, you're going to need your hot pepper, if you eat hot pepper. Kanwa, which is a stone, I believe this is, uh, I forgot what it's called. I don't know what it's called in English, but I'm going to have to figure it out. I don't remember. In French, we call it Selegem. You're going to need some salt, of course, palm oil. This is coming straight from Africa, as you can see. And obviously, you need your black eyed peas, which this is already clean. If you have not watched my video on how to clean black eyed peas, make sure to check the video right here. It's pretty quick. I did not want to show you how to do that because I already have a video on how to do it. So make sure to check that video out. Along with that, I usually will use like cans. To cook, unfortunately, I don't have any more can, so I'm going to be using aluminum foil. We're going to be eating these with sweet potatoes, cassava, or and ripe plantain. I couldn't find really ripe plantain, so we're going to just make do with this. I have about four pounds. Yes, I'm making a lot because we have visitors. Therefore, I need to make a lot because everyone needs to eat cookie. Cookie is life. Let's get to blending. Let's blend this. I am going to blend the first round with my hot pepper. So I'm gonna drop the hot pepper in there and I'm just gonna blend it. This is only if you eat hot pepper. Cookie is not really good without hot pepper. Just a little bit, just put a little bit to get that kick of spiciness. You don't have to make it too spicy. Just put a little bit of spice in there to give you that kick of spiciness because you need it. You need it. So, and when you blend cookie, you don't blend it like you're blending peanut. You want to blend it enough, but not too much to get that smooth texture. You want it to be not too smooth, but blended enough, if that makes sense. So, you're not looking for that puree texture, but very blended. Don't put too much water because you don't want too much water. If you put too much water, it's not going to blend it to the level you want. It's going to be too watery. You don't want that. Perfect. So you want to be able to feel a little bit of like it's almost grainy, but it's not grainy. But you don't want it to be too soft. Pour that in our bowl and we're going to blend the rest. And then we're going to be ready to mix this that's the texture you want you don't want it too blended but you still don't want it grainy that's what you want we have our blended black eyed peas here and I turned on the fire and I put two pots on with water in and I'm just going to warm up the oils because we're going to be using that in here so the next step is going to be to add the oil and the salt in our mixture and we're going to wrap it to cook while i was blending the black eyed peas i went on and peeled my plantains and cassava so let's cut what we're going to need usually that's what i do i'm just going to cut these what I do is I take one of these, I place it in my bowl, and that kind of like helps me figure out how much of the mixture I'm going to be putting in. So in Cameroon, usually when you blend the black eyed peas, you put this in the in a mortar and you um, stir it and stir and stir and stir until it's ready. I don't have to do that. You can if you want to. I'm going to just stir it with a spatula or a spoon and I'm going to add the water as needed, my oil and my salt and we'll be ready to go. It's looking good, it's looking good. 
The reason why you stir it for a long time is because you want to get that fluffiness out of it. If not, that's also fine. I don't like it when it's too dense, so I like to stir it a little bit with a spoon before I pack it. Doing justice to me now. Let me show you. Let me show you how we do this. So we're just going to stir this. That's how I like to stir mine. I just stir and stir and stir. Let's see, you're just gonna stir until you start seeing the little bubbles coming up. You can use a spoon like this. I like to just use this spoon because I'm gonna be using that to measure. Or you can use something like this to help you stir it. A wooden stick, pretty much. Some people like to put their salt before they put their palm oil. Some people like to put the palm oil before they put the salt. To tell the truth, I don't really, it doesn't matter to me. As long as the salt is at the level I want, I'm okay. You always want to make sure you add your water before you add your, your oil. If you end up needing to add water after you have added your oil, the water should be warm. Because if the water is cold, it's going to separate the mixture from the oil and you don't want that so try as much as possible to get your mixture to the consistency you want before you add your oil so I'm gonna add some water now I'm not gonna tell you exactly how many cups of water you need it depends on how fluffy you want yours to be if you like it fluffy you want to add more water if you don't want it as fluffy you put less water it's based on the texture you want so this video is sponsored by twist eyes round mold and I'm really excited to review look at how beautiful that looks it is such a big box I wonder how big it is and I'm guessing these are all the things that are in the box but we're going to see let's go mm, it's like a box okay so it tells you fill water on the tap water up to the height of the water line two freeze for up to 24 hours and then three twist and twist to get it out here it says large ice rum mold ice tongs and then the manual so i'm guessing these are the three things that are coming out of it so from the box oh i opened it upside down here we have Wow, this is like a whole box. You can literally put food here to keep. It's it's a tray. Here's the manual. Uh, I'm not really sure what these are. I'm guessing these are like the sizes they have, maybe. And then the manual has pictures, beautiful pictures actually. Apparently these are the different trays i got here oh my gosh this is exciting because i'm looking at it it keeps saying user friendly i mean user instruction user instruction but as i look closely i see that these trays are different let's open oops drop something that's the tongue nice okay so we have one two and then you have a box. Can you imagine? You can literally keep food here. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be my food storage. <laughs> it's gonna be another food storage for me. And then they have the name right here too, so you can't really see it, but there's a name right there. Okay, so let's see. Are these different? So they have the brand. I just saw the brand. The brand name is right there. Wait, wait. I wanna so here's what this one looks like is it the same thing let's see oh it is the same thing it's the same thing i thought they were different but they're not it's the same thing over and over three times now that's a lot of ice <laughs> that's a lot of ice cubes i'm gonna use only one of these and fill it up and show you after 24 hours what it looks like yeah i am not going to be freezing this much do this much freezing so i'm gonna get water from my fridge because 
that's what I'm going to be using to fill this up. They said to fill up to the top and to the waterline. And then in here, they show you where the waterline is. So. We are going to freeze this for 24 hours. 24 hours later, here's what our ice cube maker looks like. It's a twist. I wonder if I should have closed this now. Because this... Ooh, got it. It's like this. Oh, pretty easy. Oh, wow. It really works. Let's serve ourselves. I think that's good. Here's some lemonade. So let's get some lemonade in there. Cheers to us and thank you so much I twist for sending me this I am going to drink my lemonade that's the consistency I like mine to be not too watery not too thick but watery enough so I'm gonna add salt to taste let me measure my salt in here put your salt as you need don't just pour all at the same time because this thing can get salty pretty fast so be careful with the salt if your mixture is too spicy once you add the palm oil it's going to remove take away some of that spiciness so don't be too alarmed once you put your palm oil and it's like what happened to my hot pepper that's just what happens so but I can taste the kick of the spiciness so I, I really like where it is now at the level it is now so i'm just gonna turn that i'm gonna start adding oil just gonna finish this oil you're gonna see it's gonna change it's gonna start changing color i have this leftover palm oil i don't know if it's gonna be red enough but ooh, it's not it's not the good color oil i'm gonna change i don't like the color it's not a good one i'm gonna use this one you want your palm oil to be red like that. If not, your cookie is not going to be good. See how it's changing color? That oil was not going to give me this color. Ooh. It's looking good. I don't know if you can see it, but as you're stirring, you're starting to get these little bubbles. That means the cookie is doing what it's supposed to do. I'm adding a little bit more water. See, that's how you want it. You don't want it too thick. It is time to put together our cookie so we can cook it. So, we already added the salt and the palm oil and it's ready. It's exactly how we want it. When it's in uh, cans, all you have to do is just put oil in the cans, remove it, and then put it so it doesn't stick. If you don't have, if you have not watched my first video, go and watch that video first. You're gonna see how I use the can to cook this. In this video, we, this video we're not using cans. So what I do is I take it because it's square, and I just fold just one corner like that to give me that support, and I'm just gonna place that. In my bowl as I do it in my bowl and then I'm going to steer and grab and pour you always want to steer and grab and pour don't just grab and pour you want to steer to keep that consistency so usually I put about two to three spoons Okay, this was two and a half. 
And when that is ready, all you have to do is just gather the, the corners and you're ready. And our first is ready. You don't want to press too much because if you press too much, it's not going to expand. You can see if you touch, there's still air because when it's going to cook, it's going to expand and you want it to, it's going to rise. It's going to rise. Just like when you make puff puff, it rises. Like just like when you bake something, it rises. That's pretty much what the concept is here. So let's put that in the pot. Always stir and then grab. Stir and grab. You stir, you grab. Because as it's sitting, it's starting to sit and it might separate. You don't want that. There you go. Next one. And once you start putting the cookie in the pot, you want to raise the fire because it has to cook on high. It's not cooking on low, it's not cooking on medium, it has to be cooking on high. So that's what we're going to do. So now that we've started cooking, we're going to turn this on high and we're going to cover the pot. It has to be cooking on high. So we're going to check on our cookie. When you're adding water, you want to make sure you're adding water at the corners because you don't want it to pour on the cookie. I'm gonna just add a little bit of water. I don't have to at the moment, but I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Just put it on the side and let it cook. So every 20 to 30 minutes, you wanna do that just to make sure it doesn't burn. As you can see, there's a lot of water here. I'm not gonna add water. And that's it. Just make sure you keep an eye on it. So our food is in the pot. I have our plantain, sweet potatoes, and cassava cooking. We're just going to cook it for about an hour and a half, an hour, 45 minutes, and it will be ready. Our cookie is ready. Let's do a taste test. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you get to try if you have not yet done so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos until then i will see you in the next video bye bye Yeah, that's it.